Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and today is the first day of 30 actions in 30 days. So over the next 30 days, I'm going to be coming up with 30 different custom playmaker actions. I'm going to be reviewing them here on my YouTube channel. Now, I may not get out a video every day. I might try and push out two in one day. So the YouTube videos to get out in 30 days are a little bit tough. But uh, I'm definitely going to get the actions done in 30 days. So this is the first day of actions, and let's take a look. Now the first action I did, I wrote here, is something called Simple Loop Counter. And while this already does exist in sort of some form within uh, Playmaker, this hopefully just simplifies the process for people who are new or makes it a little bit easier for people like me who don't want to go through the process of sort of making a loop counter every time we need one. And so what I'm going to do is just create an empty game object here or just create a cube really doesn't matter and I'm gonna add uh, FSM to it by choosing Playmaker tab right-clicking and choosing add FSM so in the first state I'm gonna call this count loop and then I'm gonna make a second state that's called wait so we're just gonna wait one second between each loop count now we're going to have some other options here, so we're going to have a state that's a finished state after we're finished counting our loops, and we're going to have a error state. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the count loop state and add my simple loop counter, and you can find this from my GitHub account. Download it yourself and throw it into Unity and use it for Playmaker. And it's having a little error here and it says this action requires an event. So you can't use this action without having some events. And so we're going to add some events here. So when the loop, uh, we reach the loop reached event, so this is when it's finished, we're going to call this just event uh, finished. And we'll click to add that. So when it's finished, I want it to go to the finished state. I'm going to go back. I need a loop continue event, so we'll call this one continue. And this just means the loop will keep going. So wait one second. And we're going to have an error state here. So an error event, error. And that one will go over to error. So let's take a look at the actual action here. So it has a maximum loop count. So how high do we want to count? How many loops? So I'm going to say give me 10 loops. And we can give it a current loop count. So I'm going to have my current loop count as zero. It's going to start at counting at zero. We could save these into uh, variables if we wanted to or set them by variables. But I'm just going to leave it as zero and add per loop count. I just want to add one for every loop. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? We could count by twos or any other number we want. We could set it by variable as well. So let's just count by one. And uh, I actually disabled the every frame, so this won't do anything. I have to remove that. So it's going to go over to wait one second. So we'll add a wait so we know it's counting. And we'll have that finished when it's done as well and it will go back after waiting one second and that should be it so let's give this a try and watch it count hopefully so it's going to go fairly fast so wait one second and you can see it's on three four five six seven eight 9, 10, it's done, it's gone to the finish state. So it's all done. So it's a pretty simple tool to use. You could use this to count off all kinds of things by just going to that state, doing an action, and then coming back, or creating a very large loop of events and coming back. Now again, you could manually create this yourself by um, creating an int variable, and then adding int1, and then having an int check, and everything like that. But this is just a nice, easy uh, action to count loops. Now, if you're wondering what the error is here, it's for loop exceeded event. So if for some reason you exceed the max number, so you have your max number set to 10, if for some reason you manage to get to 11 or 12 or higher, it won't sort of just continue going on forever. 
it will say it's exceeded and gone to the error state. Now, if you're just using this how it is, it probably won't happen. But for example, if you wanted to have a max loop count of, say, 10, and you were counting by, I don't know, sevens, on the second count, you would go over. And so then it could throw off an error for you. Or if you don't want to have an error, the max loop exceeded could also just go to the finished event. You could choose either or. Okay, so that's Eric for Dumb Game Dev. Don't forget to check out the link below to find this from my GitHub account as well. Join us on our Slack channel and chat about Playmaker stuff. There's a nice group of us there sort of chatting almost every day or every other day about our Playmaker projects or problems and whatnot. So join us there and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow for 30 actions for 30 days.